Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jackie O. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are not new, thank you so much for coming back. Today I'm going to be talking about and reviewing and trying out the latest and the greatest from Smashbox. This is their Camera Ready BB Water Broad Spectrum SPF 30. It is designed to prime, protect, hydrate, perfect the skin. It is also oil and alcohol free. So basically you're going to get that BB technology in a drop of water. It's got primer water technology, which if you do watch my videos, you guys know I'm a fan of the primer water and I'm also a fan of the BB cream from Smashbox. So it's interesting to see how the two of that technology kind of merges together in this product. The formula is super, super lightweight. I haven't actually worn this yet, but I have kind of like played around with it and cheated. It's super lightweight and it's designed to be lightweight but buildable and the finish is said to be demi matte and a natural finish now because this product contains no alcohol it is said to not be drying or caking or flaking on the skin and it's also designed to be long wearing so i wear the shade dark i'm going to be trying this product for the very first time and showing you guys my thoughts on it so the first thing i'm going to do is shake up the product and when you open it you notice that it has kind of like a droplet and it also has like a pump attached to the lid which is quite interesting what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that product absorb some of that with that pump and put it on the back of my hand I'm not wearing any makeup I just did some light color correcting around the mouth simply because if I don't do that and I apply foundation no matter how light or heavy the coverage is it's always going to look gray in that area because it's a little darker around my mouth and did I mention I wear the shade dark? If I didn't, I'm telling you now, I wear the darkest shade dark, which when looking at it, I'm a little weary about it because it looks a little light and it's summer. So obviously your skin gets darker, but let's give it a go. So, so far the coverage is nice. It's very lightweight. It feels super lightweight. And it also feels very hydrating. Now I have some errands to run. I'm not going to go for super max coverage. I think I'm going to try to see, I'm going to try to see how much I can build this out, but I think that this will be ideal for like during the daytime. I like the coverage looking at it on camera. I do feel like this is an HD friendly product, but the coverage is super light. So if you're looking for something that is going to give you flaw free. This is, in my opinion, more fresh faced, a little bit more youthful. And I, I actually like the way, sometimes I don't, I have oily combination skin. Sometimes I don't like to look super matte. And that's why I don't use a ton of products that will like control the oiliness. Like I actually like a little bit of the built in moisture it's giving my skin. And I had some slight hyperpigmentation here, dark marks and it didn't completely cover them but i'm actually okay with that i'm going to a barbecue today so i might be outdoors for a little bit and i do want my makeup to be a little on the lighter side because i'm going to be by the beach coverage is nice i like the coverage it's comfortable it is not super heavy it's super lightweight on the skin and what i'm going to do is i'm going to be running around running some errands and well right now i'm gonna finish my makeup i'm gonna show you guys the final look so this is the final product i have finished the rest of my face i kept the foundation as is i concealed i used a light translucent powder and then another light powder also from smashbox on top just to kind of reduce shine because i have oily combination skin powder is almost like a must like always like unless i'm just not gonna wear makeup like it's just not happening but i wore very very little so my first initial response in looking around my house in like different low light settings is this looks and feels flawless. And I'm not just saying that just to say that like, it doesn't feel like I'm wearing makeup. It's like no makeup makeup, but like a step up. So I'm going to wear this out and about run some errands. And I told you guys I would be checking back in with you maybe in about four to five hours to see how this looks. And then we will give my final thoughts at the end of the video. Greetings, Earthlings. How do I look? So it is now uh, 3.45. And I've been wearing this foundation since around 10.30 was when I first put it on. So it's about five hours wear. 
obviously there's a little bit of added shine that's kind of inevitable because of my oily skin type but the one thing that I can say about this foundation is usually when it's like water infused I'm a little weary because I'm like uh okay but I have to remember that oil and water don't mix so although you have oily skin it is actually not really technically something that's going to work against you you know um, do you know what I mean? Like you always, I always feel like the, the overly hydrating ones are just kind of scary for our skin types, but I'm actually quite satisfied with how this formulation looks on my skin. I have not blotted at all in the five hours I've been wearing this. So I wanted to show you guys just naturally what it looks like. I'm going to zoom in now and there's some slight, it's slightly, I'm actually surprised at how much it didn't settle into my lines, which are almost always the first thing to pop up after I've been wearing a face product all day. So I could touch up some of the shine a little bit, but it's wearing really beautifully. It hasn't like totally, like it doesn't totally dissolve into my skin yet. Like it actually, my skin still looks nice. It feels skin like this kind of feels like the type of foundation that you can wear for the beach where it's not overly heavy on your skin and I really 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 like it it's it just feels lightweight but it has the perfect amount of coverage and my skin is still hydrated so I'm gonna check back in in the next couple hours and let you guys know my final thoughts it's us again we're back we're here we are we're back again I've officially been wearing this foundation all day more than eight hours and I'm actually quite surprised being that it's water I can't get a kick out of this whole water technology and I just think of something that's water-based that's gonna evaporate in like an hour, but it actually is long wearing. It did not budge. It has not at all dissolved. It still looks like just as fresh as when I first put it on, which is amazing. And it didn't settle into my fine, like into my smile lines, which is probably like the first thing a foundation usually does is it settles it's slightly subtle, but not as noticeable as like most foundations. So I'm actually quite impressed by that and I also like the fact that it did not oxidize the only thing I would like to see is a few more darker shades because like I said earlier I wear the darkest and I do think that this is a beautiful formula and I would just like to be able to see more of my chocolate girls wear more of it but other than that I do give it two thumbs up and I do recommend it for oily skin types I recommend it in the summer in the winter I recommend this for pretty much every skin type I think it's a beautiful formulation and if you want to win your own bottle of this luscious product make sure you head on over to smashboxbbwater.com to enter to win your own foundation so I really hope that you guys found this review helpful thank you so much for watching if you are not already subscribed please be sure to do so on your way out and thumbs up the video if you liked it I will see you guys next time bye